Well, guys, we just wrapped up with this uh, 12 row 1770 planner. You may have seen, I did a video on it there a couple weeks ago when we first came to inspect the planner uh, to look at it to see what the customer was wanting us to do. I wanna turn this camera around and we'll show you the finished product. So what we did to start off is he wanted to add in furrow fertilizer. He already had two by two down here with another product and he wanted to simplify his two by two system and add an in furrow. So what we did for in furrow is the Keaton uh, Quick Connect uh, seed firmer. That's a really nice, easy solution. I like it because it's easy to replace if you ever wear one out. And of course he needed additional tanks. He only had these two to start with. So we added 150 gallon wing tanks. Um, brackets turned out really nice and sharp, powder coated and fit like a glove. So those turned out really nice. So he's got great carrying capacity. We added the in furrow mode of application of the Keaton. And then he wanted to simplify his two by two. We went with the totally tubular TT 300s and uh, put them out the back here and just dump that fertilizer down. And it's basically going to kind of fall right in line with where these uh, closing wheels are gonna run. So from there, he did have no-till holders and row cleaners up front. I'll show you those. <clears throat> this is what he had up front. And you can see how far forward this stuck, how they were kind of an older style, hard to adjust row cleaner. And then he had this no-till holder that was running a little bit deeper than what we'd like to see. So we went ahead and went with the Yetter 029 floating shark tooth row cleaner with the clean sweep air cylinder so that we can easily control our height from the cab. That's a really, really good solution there to have up front. It's really close to the row unit. There's nothing up here that can jar the seed tube or move the row unit. He's gonna have a nice clean seed bed and the row unit ride is gonna be very steady. From there, he had cast uh, regular smooth factory closing wheels and we went ahead and went with the Yetter Poly Twister of course, it's the most common closing wheel on the market. Uh, it works in all scenarios, and uh, whether you're no-till or conventional, uh, it's the way to go. So we got them spaced to an inch and a quarter gap down here at the bottom, and uh, the finished product is pretty sweet. We replaced his uh, older John Blue pump with a new one. That way he'd have a trouble-free, you know, next decade of, of running this planter. Um, we got a, his fill right here. This was his old fill for those center tanks, and we added one just right above it. We're controlling the in furrow with an electric pump and a Benco motor driver. It's a real simple, uh, easy to use controller. And then we mounted the red ball tree right here in the center of the planter. Down here is the in furrow, up here is the two by two. So nice and clean and easy to see. So. Very happy with the finished product and uh, turned out well. So that's what we're doing today. And thank you for tuning in.